Welcome back to the channel, where we bring you the latest updates in the world of open source software and desktop environments. Today, we're diving into the KDE Plasma 6.3 beta, which has just been released for public testing. This update is packed with exciting new features and enhancements, so let's explore what's in store. The KDE Plasma 6.3 beta is here, and it's shaping up to be a major update to this already powerful desktop environment. It's part of the broader release that includes KDE Gear 24.12.1 and KDE Frameworks 6.10. The stable release is expected on February 11th, 2025. But for now, let's break down what's new in this beta. First up, KDE Win, the window manager, now includes an option to prioritize screen color accuracy, a great addition for creators and professionals who rely on precise color reproduction. Alongside this, the Info Center will now display your laptop's battery cycle count, giving you more insight into your hardware's health. Plasma 6.3 also makes everyday workflows smoother. You can now clone panels, assign keyboard shortcuts to move windows between custom tiling zones, and Plasma can now remember your active virtual desktop per activity. The Graphics Tablet Settings page has been revamped for better usability, and you can even swap the functions of your pen buttons, perfect for artists who like customizing their setup. KDE Plasma 6.3 is also smarter when it comes to notifications and system settings. You'll now get low battery notifications for wireless headphones if they properly expose battery info. And if you plug in a mouse, Plasma will let you disable the touchpad automatically. One of my favorite new features is the system's ability to notify users when memory runs out and the kernel terminates an app. This is a great touch for anyone dealing with resource-intensive tasks. There's also better support for fractional scaling, so your desktop looks crisp and consistent no matter your screen resolution. Moving on to Plasma Discover, the software center now shows whether apps are packaged directly by their developers or verified by a trusted third party. You'll also see a clear installation progress, especially when downloading apps that need additional Flatpak runtimes. On the desktop, widgets now have a slightly translucent look, adding a modern touch to your workspace. Meanwhile, the Task Manager widget updates its grouping indicator to match your current accent color, making your setup feel even more cohesive. Plasma 6.3 also includes many smaller but meaningful improvements. The printer's widget now shows print queues inline, along with a busy spinner for active jobs. The logout screen now notifies you if you're rebooting into the bootloader menu, so there are no surprises during restarts. Changes to the kickoff application launcher make navigation simpler. The settings menu category has been removed, with its contents moved into the system category. One more cool feature is the ability to temporarily disable KWIN window rules instead of deleting them, which makes it easier to test new configurations without losing your settings. If you're eager to check it out, the beta is available on the testing editions of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and KDE Neon. But remember, this is still a pre-release version, so avoid using it for production work. The stable version of KDE Plasma 6.3 is set to release on February 11, 2025, with system integrators getting access a week earlier on February 6. This gives Linux distro maintainers time to package everything for users to enjoy the latest features as soon as possible. That's all for this deep dive into KDE Plasma 6.3 beta. If you're as excited about this release as I am, let me know in the comments which feature you're looking forward to the most. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Linux and open source. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay open. Stay free. Egg.